Hi boys and girls. I hope you had time to watch the video of the read aloud up and down the Andes. I want to read you a little bit more from the back of this book about the festival that described in the book called Inti Rainy. Um, it is a majestic Inca festival held each year on June 24th to honor the sun god. Inti Rainy takes place in the city of Cusco on the winter solstice when the sun is farthest from the earth. Long ago, the Inca people gathered to pray for the sun, for the sun god's return so crops would grow and they would not go hungry. Today, Inti Rainy recreates the ancient ceremony as thousands of actors bring the past alive for Cusco's many visitors. The pageantry unfolds in the city square. Then everyone processes out of the town to the ancient fortress, Suques Homa. High priests, nobles, and officials of the court in elaborate robes lead the parade. Women in colorful traditional costumes follow, carrying offerings to honor the gods. The sun king, resplendent in gold clothing, is carried to the site on a royal litter. After performing age-old rituals, the Sun King climbs to the sacred altar and speaks to the crowd in their native language, Quechua. At sunset, the ceremony ends and everyone returns to Cusco to celebrate the new year. So on our project today, we are going to be drawing into the Peruvian or Incan sun god. And this is actually a very famous ancient sculpture which um, I will link here so you can see the real thing. And his face mostly looks kind of like the sun, and this, this ancient sculpture is made from gold. So we're gonna draw it out with a pencil, then we will be tracing with Sharpie, so you'll wanna have some kind of, some kind of black marker or crayon to do, to do that with, even if you don't have a Sharpie, and then something to color with especially if you have some yellows or golds, collect a lot of those. So we're gonna start a little bit lower than the center of the page, and we're gonna draw the bottom of Inti's headdress. And his headdress kind of looks like the sun. So I'm gonna draw an arch that comes up and over all the way over my page. That looks a lot like the sun, either setting or rising over the horizon. Then I'm gonna draw Inti's face. So down here, I'm gonna draw another curved line, kind of a U shape. I don't wanna start on the edge. I wanna make this, this shape a little smaller than the one on top, like that. Next, we're gonna draw his face in here. So his face is very geometric. So we're gonna start with his nose. I'm gonna draw two vertical lines that come about halfway down from the top of this half circle, and then two diagonal lines that point out, connected by a horizontal line going across. Then I'm going to draw a curved line from these two corners, out and down. And inside this shape, I'm going to draw Inti's mouth as a really small rectangle. Next, I'm going to draw the eyes. Now the eyes, I'm going to start like a circle, but before I close the circle, I'm going to make a line that curves up and makes a point, kind of like a comma, an upside down comma. And on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing but flipped the other direction. Inside that shape, I'm gonna draw a circle, just a little bit smaller. That's his face. Next, we're gonna draw his ears. His ears are very large. So I'm gonna start on the side of the face and draw a line that goes diagonal up, then diagonal in, and then I'm gonna draw a circle that kind of connects to the face here. And inside that ear shape, I'm gonna draw two geometric shapes square and a circle leaving space around them. Same thing on the other side. Next I'm going to draw his neck which includes a necklace. So I'm going to draw two diagonal lines that kind of come out from the sides of the head and then a, a curved line on the bottom that's about the same kind of curve as, as the bottom of his face here. And inside there I'm going to draw curved squares and rectangles to look like gemstones or precious stones on the necklace. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do is decorate the headdress. So I'm gonna start by drawing kind of a semicircle right in the center to represent the sun coming up over the horizon. And then I'm gonna draw curved lines like rainbow all the way around it. I wanna to try to get at least three or four rows in there. 
And in each row, I'm going to draw lines or shapes or patterns that remind me of the sun. So obviously zigzags. You don't have to draw the exact same patterns. You could come up with your own. But I want these to look like kind of the rays of the sun coming out. In the next row, I'm going to make some spirals. So I'm going to curve over and around and then back. Also kind of looking like rays of the sun or like heat or light coming off the sun. All right, and then on my last row, I think I'll do just some kind of trapezoid shaped stripes. And again, you could do something totally different. my picture of NT is finished, so now I'm going to trace it with Sharpie. Now that I'm done erasing my pencil lines, I'm ready to color NT. And most of NT is actually gold. Now you can add other colors if you'd like. Now that I'm finished erasing my pencil lines, I'm ready to color. And NT is mostly gold with turquoise um, colored stones kind of inlaid into it, but I can add extra colors um, if I'd like to make them a little more colorful. I'm going to start, and I'm just using crayon. You can use marker, you can use pencil, whatever art supplies you have. I'm going to start by coloring most of his face yellow to make it look gold. And I'm actually going to go back through 
and give this a little more color, a little, a little bit of shading with a brown crayon after I color. So I'm kind of coloring lightly. I am coloring around the circle in the eye because I'm going to make that a turquoise color. And I'm also going to color around these stones here on the necklace and in the ears. And for now, I'm going to leave my headdress uncolored. I'm going to color that one. Now, if you're using pencil or crayon, you can kind of lightly layer in a little bit of brown value to make um, your face look like it has some shadows. So, definitely going to need a brown crayon for this next part. My brown is kind of dark, but if you have a lighter brown, that would work really great. So I'm going to go through with my crayon, my brown crayon, and just lightly color along all of my sharpie lines on the inside of the face and around the edges of the face. And this is just going to help my facial features kind of stand out more. I'm trying to create a shadow, so I want to start with a darker value and then kind of fade to a lighter value as I blend into the yellow there. Along the edges of my nose. I'm going to go to the edge of the headdress. Around the outside of the eyes. And in the outside of the circle, which I haven't colored yet. On the mouth, I'm going to fill it in, so just a little bit darker. All right. Now I'm going to add in all of these shapes here. I'm going to make it look like there's kind of some turquoise stones like inlaid there. So I'm going to use a green and a blue. And I'm going to color one color light in a light layer first, and then the second color blending over it to kind of create a blue-green color. You could even take three or four colors and kind of blend them to make it look like the stone has some variation in it, as most natural stones do. And it's like the earth.
and last I'm going to color the headdress. Now because the headdress is meant to represent the sun, I am only going to use warm colors. So warm colors are going to be the half of the color wheel that is yellow, orange, or red. And remember that pink is light red, so it's included as a warm color. And I'm going to create some patterns here with my crayons to make my headdress look warm and sunny.